is this day. Um, we are going to talk about some scales today. Um, so before we do anything, look at um, exercise 88 in your standard of excellence red book. I hope you have that with you to reference. Um, your red book, exercise 88, um, we have done that scale a lot of times. It should say G major and then in parentheses B flat concert as your title. Um, double check and triple check your key signature. We only have one sharp, which is F sharp. Um, everything else is natural on the way up. Um, let's just take a second right now and let's just review um, your concert B flat or your G major scale. Um, just the first line of 88. Don't go into the arpeggio yet. Here we go. Two, ready, and... portion of this video. Uh, the second portion is um, the scale sheet that I have attached to your assignment file for, um, for your Google Classroom. Um, you should see a PDF file in the assignment titled uh, One Octave Scale Sheet. It is a one octave scale sheet listed for every single instrument in the band. You obviously only need to pay attention to the alto saxophone one. It'll say alto saxophone in the top left hand corner. Please make sure that you take the time now before we move on in the other part of the lesson to print that sheet out and so you can reference that as we are working on our lesson uh, today. Okay, so um, go ahead and print that out if you haven't already done so, and I will see you in about two seconds. Okay, our scale sheet should look like this. Alto saxophone in the top left hand corner, one octave major scale sheet, all state pattern. So. The scale that we're dealing with is G major or B flat concert in parentheses. So let's take a second and find your G major B flat concert scale. I feel like I need the Jeopardy theme playing right now. <laughs> so let's look at this one right here. It's your G major B flat concerts in parentheses. Looks like it's the right scale. And look at that, it's number one on your scale sheet. So we're gonna focus on that right now. All right, so let's check, let's, let's look at it closely together. So we're looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. And oh my goodness, at least this much of it right now that I have the camera zoomed in on, looks well, exactly like exercise 88. Now, we always compare and contrast in our class. Check out the end portion of this. This is where it gets different. Remember the second line of your, um, your book? And in the second line, we had arpeggio for your concert B flat or your G major scale. Well, your arpeggio is gonna be a little bit different for the FBA Allstate requirement. Your arpeggio is um, made up of the first note, the third note of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, and the top or eighth note of the scale. So look, G is um, your first note of the scale, G. We have B, which is your third note. D, that's the fifth note of the scale. Eighth note or top note of the scale is your high G. And it comes back down and backwards, five, three, one. Okay, so Anytime now that you guys are playing a scale for me, you're going to play, um, you're going to play your scale um, with the arpeggio with the one three five eight pattern. Okay, so your all arpeggios for every scale you play is going to be made up of the first note, the third note, the fifth note, and the eighth note of the scale. Got it? Cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the whole scale, start to finish together. We're gonna try the arpeggio. We'll go all the way through. 
And then when we get to the end, we're going to stop and then we're going to look at the arpeggio by itself. Okay. All right. So we're just going to play all of this straight through together. Your G major scale or your B flat concert is going to be G. So let's play G together. Ready, low G. Third note of your scale is B. Fifth note of the scale is D. And then you have your top note, your eighth note of the scale, which is high G. Okay. So, um, Take a second and work on just going up the arpeggio, okay? Going over the break, um, going from B to high D, or sorry, B, sorry, um, from the um, B to the D to the G can be a little tricky. So if you need to take a second to practice going from G to B to D to the high G, that's fine, okay? And then once we are able to do that, then we're going to work backwards. We're going to start on the high G. So high G. And then come down. Here's your B. Sorry. D. Your B. And then your G. So work on getting those notes down in that sequence. And then we're going to go back. And then just do the arpeggio in, um, we're going to just do the arpeggio in the time or the rhythm that um, is uh, listed on your scale sheet, okay? So let's try just the arpeggio together. Here we go. As written, last three bars of your, your scale. Ready? One, two, and ready, and here we go. One, two, and ready, and go. All right, if you need to do that arpeggio by itself uh, a couple times, feel free to do that. No issue with that before we move on. Now, the idea is for you to be able to do this whole scale from start to finish. Um, and so once you get the arpeggio, Go back to the beginning and do the whole scale with the arpeggio attached. No breaks in between, just like how we ran through it earlier. Um, then, once you are able to do that three times in a row, notice I said three times in a row, because the rule is if you can play it three times in a row, it means that you got it. It's solid and you understand it. Once you're able to do it three times in a row with no mistakes, um, then you need to start increasing the tempo. Um, as you're increasing the tempo, I wouldn't go from slow tempo to really, really fast tempo immediately. I would do gradual. So um, if I was, if you remember the tempo that I did at the beginning of this whole uh, video um, with your scale, um, I'm just going to go a little faster, not much. Um, so it would sound like this. <laughs> value in half. So your half note now becomes a quarter note and your quarter notes cut in half is a eighth note. Okay. So all you're doing is doing quarter 
eighth note, eighth note rhythm. All right. So let's um, let me demonstrate what I mean. <laughs> Um, when you guys submit your playing test or your portion um, or video to the Google Classroom for the assignment, if you play in the G major scale in the FBA form, um, I do want it to be at that tempo, if you could possibly do it, in the cut time version. So we're going to do quarter, eighth note, eighth note pattern, all right? Um, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me um, and I will do my best to get back to you and come up with a time for us to sit down and talk um, and walk you through it. So I will be back with you in like two seconds for your F concert scale.